Hello, Donna. Hi. I am happy that you are here and that we can discuss about our topics. So, could you say something about you and what's your specialization, please? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so, hello, everybody. I am here because uh, me and Paul and other colleagues from the Department of uh, the Special and Inclusive Education are the part of the Erasmus Plus project, which uh, is called PIT. In this project, are involved uh, more countries, as is uh, Portugal, Slovenia, and two universities uh, from Turkey. And the aim of the project mm -hmm. is uh, to develop curriculum, uh, which is aimed to uh, health issues regarding to the people with uh, intellectual disabilities. And the task of our department is to develop material about uh, sexual health education and I suppose, Paul, that's the topic of yeah. uh, our talk for yeah. today. Yeah, super. So, I give you a question. Mm -hmm. Please, what do you think about education for people with men, uh, mental disabilities or intellectual disabilities, what is this important or what is yeah, the main yeah. issue? Mm -hmm. I think uh, that uh, this uh, topic, this issue is really important and uh, I don't think it's a new topic. I think that this topic exists uh, here for ages, but the last um, few years we are talking about this topic more and more and we as a teachers from the university from the faculty of education we can see that this topic is really mm. important and we mm. have to discuss uh, this topic with our students to let them know that they have to be educated that they have to have some knowledge mm. about uh, sexual health yeah. education because sexual, he sexual health education is really yeah. important and it's a part of education of a people with intellectual disability and mm. um, yeah you have question? maybe what do you think about the role of parents and yeah. education not only institution but in families mm -hmm. and what's the necessary, what's needs, mm -hmm. not okay. only in Czech space, okay. but in international mm -hmm. context. Yes, yes. Context. Uh, it's not uh, just about teachers. Sexual health education is a multidisciplinary yeah. topic in which are involved uh, not only teachers, mm -hmm. but uh, social workers, um, people from the medical departments yeah. and also the parents, because the parents uh, play the key role uh, mm. to educate their, their children, but not only parents, as mm. I said, also the teachers. And yeah. I think that uh, the teachers, parents, uh, social workers must be the part of one team yeah. and they have to cooperate because mm -hmm. this topic uh, seems to be for many parents that it's mm -hmm. something what I don't have to think about it and I can think my child is too yeah. young. <laughs> my child will not understand what's going on. I don't feel comfortable to talk about these topics, mm -hmm. but we have to. And mm -hmm. I would like to say that the parents and the teachers are not alone mm -hmm. because I think that nowadays exists support and mm -hmm. it's not, as I said uh, in a previous sentence, it's not the new topic. Mm -hmm. Thanks. And what do you think about special pedagogy? What do you think about this position and how can help uh, international cooperation or how can help in institutions? What's mm -hmm. our position in education, not only in school? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, teacher, as I <laughs> said, uh, plays the key role because uh, teachers are sometimes six, eight hours a day in mm. a contact with uh, children, even if it's the child with uh, intellectual disability. But we still can't forget uh, to. Mm. Uh, discuss this topic uh, with other teachers yeah. and we have to develop the strategies how to make uh, sexual health education yeah. to be the part of the curriculum and as I said uh, as a university mm -hmm. we have to provide some elementary materials uh, and um, 
to let uh, students to be the part of the teaching mm -hmm. practice that they know that mm -hmm. this topic is important mm -hmm. and uh, that uh, of course uh, there are some uh, organizations which are very professional yeah. and they are able to provide uh, the specific uh, training uh, yeah. uh, to be really good teacher and to know how to handle this topic yeah. uh, which yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Yeah. can yeah. be maybe for some people uncomfortable mm. especially if we are talking about the children with yeah. intellectual disabilities mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. so we while teaching children with intellectual disabilities about sexual health education we have to uh, think about the needs mm. of yes. uh, each child and uh, of course uh, that the individual approach is uh, really mm. really important and that we uh, have to respect the way yeah. that in which uh, the children are, are learning. Yeah, I thank you for a nice idea. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's nothing new interview. we know about it, but it's important to talk about it. Thank you very much. So Paul, you brought some uh, very interesting uh, books uh, about art and I know that uh, you have many experiences uh, in the field of uh, art and disability and uh, now we are talking about sexuality and art. Uh, so mm -hmm. could you please uh, tell us something more about your experience, about uh, yeah. your point of view about this topic? Mm -hmm. Thank you for the question. Yeah, uh, it's in my uh, field of study at Masaryk University. You know that I uh, do art therapy, or I'm a curator for our artists with not only intellectual disabilities and autism and so on. So it's, it's in my hobby and it's in my job. Uh, and uh, I see that you have uh, a nice book. It's a book um, about art Bri in Czech land. And I think that uh, this book could show that art is a space for social inclusion, that art is a space for um, presentation of one feeling, not only for people with mental intellectual disabilities. And it's, it's a long tradition in art. And uh, in basic art is, uh, is a space, it's a tool, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's um, a culture event. And we have a lot of form of art. And uh, our artists, people with intellectual disabilities, could uh, use lots of form of art. And uh, could be a video art, could be a, a painting, could be a create aircraft, could be a, mm, a video art and performance art. So we have a lot of types. And each of us can find own way open feeling, open tools in art, in history of art or in contemporary art. And here uh, I show a book. It's a history of Art Bri. Art Bri is a, a type of uh, contemporary art or history of art. And this art uh, do people with uh, disabilities. And um, this is a history of of uh, Czech art Bri. so it's a history of artist with not only mental but could be a psychological problem, a non-professional artist, not official artist, and uh, it's very interesting for our uh, history and for future because it's a collection of best of the Czech arts, not only Czech arts, but I think that uh, actually is international arts because lots of uh, lots of um, uh, picture are in a collection in very interesting galleries or very prestigious galleries. Mm -hmm. So you mean that uh, sexuality and disability it's not new topic, it's yeah. the topic which we can find in many many books and maybe mm -hmm. that uh, art can be inspiration for the teachers and maybe in some way also for the parents? Yeah, uh, important is that uh, it's necessary uh, be a professional artist. It's some uh, stigma, I think. People don't want to create art because they think that not artist, not academic artist. Yeah, I have the <laughs> same stigma as you said. But uh, in basic, art is a way of communication. It's for all. Uh, it's same for people with intellectual disabilities. And it's, it could be uh, uh, non-verbal communication, 
and it could be a strategy for show what I feel, mm -hmm. uh, how I presented my own sexuality. Uh, uh, it could be a presentation about gender. It could be a presentation about my feeling in society, my role of society and such. I'd like to show you some uh, picture or artwork in uh, this book. It's a collection of uh, Czech artists and here uh, we can see a portrait. Portrait is important of identity, male or female or gender context. It's a painting and drawing. Uh, next is object uh, with a typical symbol, a sexual symbol. And it's, it's uh, very interesting, very authentic. And uh, next example could be uh, some drawing. Uh, it's it's, uh, it's uh, uh, stories and it's about a feeling of identity of male or female. So that's all from this book. And uh, I have uh, for you a next a collection from Booking. Guging is a very important institution in Austria. It's a really history of art uh, for all of Europe. And uh, this book shows the best of uh, art, world and art craft during 100 years in this institution. At first time it was a psychiatric clinic and actually it's a, a daily center, it's an art center and it's a museum and uh, it's um, a space where you can um, uh, meet people with uh, intellectual disabilities as artists and you can discuss uh, about uh, art and why do this art in Guging, Guging art. And um, it's, it's uh, really interesting and uh, I show you uh, some first example. It's about history in Rome, so some topics uh, with sexual uh, symbol are from history, not only uh, contemporary or uh, actual situation. Next example is uh, uh, statue. It's a drawing about uh, what I feel if I am a woman or a male, and you can see some uh, art symbol, and uh, it's a very authentic and expressive. Next example could be about. Uh, figure of women with special color, very authentic. And uh, the color is important for, for open expression. It's, uh, it's uh, very specific. Lots of people have favorite color uh, in your life and in uh, painting. And color uh, can communicate some expression. So I think that uh, typology of uh, colors are important for artists. Here you can uh, see next portrait from uh, next author. Here is uh, situation in street. Uh, so daily, daily situation. Uh, daily situation was very often important for artists. Uh, they want to uh, speak about open life, open feeling. Uh, sometimes not so much happy. So in this example you can see a connection of normal life, daily life with uh, sexuality, with uh, communication through symbol. And uh, it's very interesting. So if you want to know more about this book, you can observe it. Okay, so thank you for uh, interesting examples of uh, the connection between art, sexuality mm -hmm. and uh, artists uh, and some examples uh, from the book, uh, which can be maybe inspiration for the teachers. But uh, I think that the art is not for all teachers, but we have the another field which is uh, mm -hmm. really specific and uh, that's the field uh, in which uh, you've got many experience and that's uh, art therapy and disability. Mm -hmm. So could you please tell us a little bit more about yeah. it, how to make a connection between sexuality, sexual health mm -hmm. education and the people with intellectual disability? Mm -hmm. Thanks. It's interesting. Uh, art therapy is a big field of, of study. Uh, we have two, two trends. One is psychotherapist, 
and the, the second trend is uh, art as a therapy. It's uh, education strategies, it's um, uh, well-being, feeling, it's for all. It's not a uh, relationship between patient and uh, doctor. It's a relationship between a teacher, student, or it's a relationship between my personality. Uh, so it's two different roles. And uh, yes, uh, art therapy uh, could be a good way to uh, presentation of feeling uh, in different situation. It's important because it could be a good tool for people uh, with intellectual disabilities. They don't know how to say what I feel. Sometimes I have problem with communication and uh, this could be a good way how through a symbol, visual, visual symbol, show what I feel. So I think that uh, it could be a good um, help for teacher, for parents, for, for people how I can communicate my feeling, what I think, my option. Uh, I show that I am a good in some skill. It's about technologies, it's about uh, manual, manual uh, walking and uh, it, it's, it's, it's a life. I think that art is a life. So mm -hmm. Okay, so if all. I understand why art therapy can help us uh, uh, to understand the feelings yeah. of the people with intellectual disability because uh, it's difficult probably to imagine the situation that uh, yeah. we are sitting in uh, the room and uh, start yeah. talking about our yeah. feelings about yeah. the sexual yeah. health yeah. and yeah. Uh, the topics like this. It yeah. can be very uh, probably uh, not a good idea. Maybe our therapy is the tool which can yeah. help us. Yeah. And I think that uh, the main is uh, presentation. Uh, it's uh, exhibition, uh, show what I do, not only my family or my friend, but um, all society in some culture events. It's a good way how I can help my and uh, my parents, and how I can communicate in a different situation, different way. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's important. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you too. I'd like to introduce uh, our new host, Philip Haberman. Hello, Philip. Hi. Uh, I must say about you some basic information about your profession and knowledge. Uh, some little bit from your curriculum vitae. Uh, Philip has admirable experience from medical and humanitarian mission of the English Red Cross in abroad. Philip is a senior employee and project manager in Charity in Brno. Uh, Philip is a project coordinator at uh, Masaryk University at the Institute of uh, Research Inclusive Education. Yeah, yeah you're right. And lots of all. And uh, I'm happy that you are here, that uh, we can say some interesting information about our topic, sexual health and strategies in our project. And at first I have for you some question, if could be. Of course. <laughs> so I prepare first, we can start. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> what do you think about the provision of health care in countries affected by poverty and conflict? And uh, how the situation is reflected in the life of people with disabilities in these countries, in this area? So could you say me some? What do you think about? Yeah, sure. Uh, thank you for your in introduction anyway. Uh, yeah, you said a lot of about me, uh, but it's enough. It, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's fine, <laughs> nothing special anyway. Uh, but yeah, uh, <coughs> thanks for your first question anyway. Uh, but uh, it's very tough, it's very mm. tough uh, issue in, yeah. in developing countries because the health yeah. system and, uh, and care uh, mm. as a basic stuff, it's quite difficult. I visited a lot of countries all around the world, basically in developing countries mm. and very poor countries, let's say. Mm. And, uh, and this is very tough. Uh, it's, it's very tough to understand because the healthcare mm. is completely different than Czech healthcare, of yeah. course. It's completely different, a completely different health, uh, medical background, medical issues. Mm. Uh, it, uh, it's uh, very tough to talk about that. But uh, mm. from my past, I mean, from my experiences, yeah. 
I can say um, it's getting better and better. I can compare it uh, between mm. uh, Africa and Asia, okay. for example. We have two different continents. And even these two continents are very difficult. If I compare these mm -hmm. the, these continents, yeah. um, so Africa, Africa, yeah. uh, so healthcare is uh, it's very poor system, mm -hmm. and um, and disabilities are quite mm -hmm. uh, unknown, and not so many people are talking about the disabilities mm -hmm. uh, because uh, they have no any knowledges. Mm. They have no, they have no any um, education, mm. uh, and who is disabled? Let's say mm. uh, autism people or w mm. and whoever. It's basically staying at home, and uh, they don't have any special uh, places to mm. visit. So, but it's getting better uh, in uh, in last ten years. Uh, but uh, but the disabled people, it's uh, they have no so many. Mm options to visit and mm. to educate themselves anyway but uh, asia it it even depends yeah but asia it's it's far far away from africa okay. and they have very uh, very good structures for example in india mm. or 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 china or mm. uh, or countries like that they are very good uh, um, in this curve so and we can uh, we can learn a lot as mm. well from them. It's not um, it's not only about the Europe, but uh, Asia. It's uh, it's getting yeah. top and top and top because they have a lot of uh, finance sources to finance to finance yeah. this uh, this care. Uh, but this is not my field anyway. I'm coming from the I'm coming from the medical background. Mm -hmm. Means from the war system. Mm -hmm. Means uh, for, from from the conflict conflict um, issues. So so and it's dip and it's differences uh, uh, different a lot because mm -hmm. if I compare uh, countries uh, without any war and countries. Uh, just the pro processing the under, mm -hmm. uh, I mean the the war system, is different anyway. Because if you have a war, uh, they don't do anything for disabled people. But if mm -hmm. if if countries are just a normal life, it's a no war, no conflicts, mm -hmm. nothing like that. Uh, they can really go forward and try to try to in, implement uh, the social system yeah. or educational system. Mm -hmm. By the way, into the into the into the society, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can and you can really and you can really see uh, the progress uh, which is going up, uh, which is going up every single day. And you can see it because I used to live in this country for more than fifteen years, so I can compare it. Because uh, if you tra travel and uh, and mm -hmm. see different. Uh, continents, countries, yeah. you can you can um, uh, you can be involved uh, into the social and um, educational system as well. Even you are on the other side, like from the hospital side. Yeah. So, but you can see and you can talk to people. You can visit, and uh, and mm -hmm. because we all are coming from the from the university, yeah. so we are interested to see and you are interested to learn as much as we can in the developing countries. Mm -hmm. So I'm even I work from medical background, yeah. I can take I can take a knowledge as, I mean skills from from uh, social and educational system as well of course. But on the mm -hmm. at the end, so the Africa and Asia is mm -hmm. different because they have completely different finance sources yeah. and uh, and um, and Africa is quite taboo because mm -hmm. disabled people stay at home okay. and they have no any special educational center. Uh, center or something like that they don't have but sometimes you can find somewhere for example in Addis Ababa because big it's a city. very big city in yeah. Ethiopia, and you yeah. you can find it. But if you go to the rural uh, rural um, um, places, I mean the villages and small yeah. small towns, it's uh, it's completely taboo. And if you are disabled, mm. you you stay uh, basically at home for the rest of your life, and nobody mm. is interested in you, and nobody is giving you support because yeah. support is usually in the big cities okay. and you can see it like that. So that's my mm -hmm. not so uh, not so um, 
deep insight but mm. uh, but uh, yeah yeah it's uh, it's mm. something like that from my perspective yeah from my point okay. of view yeah okay it's m nothing common mm -hmm. and what do you think about support of national organization uh, which can help financial services and uh, specialists and so on what's what is it main it's it's right it, it every be, it's enough well every support. country gets a health care system okay. every country but it's different as well so uh, if you go to the south of um, uh, africa it's a very rich country and they really uh, mm -hmm. support their disabilities their centers but it's only one country but if you mm -hmm. go to zambia or uh, or tanzania mm -hmm. or uh, on countries like that they are they are not so rich and mm -hmm. they and they don't implement any financial sources into the into the um, into the educational and healthcare system for disabled people. That's why they stay at home. They don't have mm -hmm. any financial support. They don't have any educational support, and they really live and in their families and families. I mean, siblings, siblings, or or just just the close. Yeah, parents yeah, yeah, are yeah. taking care of them so mm -hmm. uh, but uh, but it's very tough to uh, uh, to describe mm -hmm. how it's getting better and better okay. but um, as I can see in the last 10 years yeah. it's getting slightly up like um, like that just a um, governmental staff mm -hmm. or uh, local authorities, mm -hmm. uh, municipalities mm -hmm. are starting to taking care of uh, of people. I mean, the disabled people there because they the universities are just bringing um, some experiences from okay. abroad because they are implemented into the yeah. uh, uh, into the project or around the world, and they can bring a lots of a lots of uh, new information from 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 Europe somewhere. And after that, they mm. can implement it into the uh, health and social care system. But it's but it's getting uh, slowly yeah. up. But so. but it's not. It's not uh, like uh, as so we are used to, yeah. So it's yeah. it's uh, it's quite um, slow process, slow progress. But uh, but China and India and mm. and A Asia, I mean countries like mm -hmm. that are uh, like that, yeah. Uh, so different so position, and different position, okay. and. And and we are talking about Africa and Asia, but mm -hmm. on the Middle East, for example, Iraq and uh, mm -hmm. and Syria, well, war since two thousand three. Yeah. Basically, um, yeah. uh, Islamic State came into two thousand fourteen, mm -hmm. so they are completely destroyed. So so the system is destroyed, everything is destroyed, and mm -hmm. they don't have any possibilities to implement such. A field into the social health care system. So, so it's something like that. Mm -hmm. And what do you think? Uh, what is the role of Red Cross or other big international organization? What's the uh, I mean, role? What's position in these countries? How cooperate government, local government yeah. with this international organization? Yeah, this is my field anyway. <laughs> uh, uh, so, Some but change. we work in medical system, okay. only medical. So we are supporting. Uh, hospitals or, uh, or care system and not care system but um, uh, care centers uh, uh, so so well uh, just the communication mm -hmm. and conversation I mean the negotiation with local authorities is it's uh, it's uh, too difficult because they don't mm. understand our position and yeah. we don't understand their position but we are not coming to these countries from our point of view. No, no, it's not like that. They are just asking for us because we're coming mm. from Red Cross, not only from the Red Cross, but the US and mm. many other countries are uh, are supporting our medical missions and we are the biggest in the mm. world. So yeah. the countries and municipalities are asking for a help, mm. for a support us. So and after that, we decide if we are mm -hmm. able to support them in their countries or not. But we are not coming with our mm. uh, medical staff. Mm -hmm. No, nothing like that. We, we usually uh, 
uh, building up a new hospitals or using mm -hmm. and and giving opportunities the local or the local uh, medical staff and non-medical staff. So we are not uh, bringing lots of uh, lots of uh, lots of uh, medical staff from our countries. Mm -hmm. Nothing like that. We are on a support for the first just a few weeks, okay. just to give them give them an, a chance to learn from us. But as I said at the beginning, the the medical medical is completely different. So so um, so if you comparing mm -hmm. uh, their medical background mm -hmm. with our medical background. So we can connect uh, okay. just a very small connection. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So that's why uh, we are coming there as a, uh, as a specialist, let's say. Mm -hmm. So our doctors are coming there to yeah. learn them. And after that, they're uh, coming back to their uh, uh, mother uh, hospitals and so and that's all. And mm -hmm. so, yeah, and we, 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 we work like that. So just the conclusion, let's say that the, the um, uh, government from Zambia are, are sending the application that they are asking for, I don't know, mm -hmm. for some uh, specialists and okay. a new hospital and asking if we are able to do that for them, even from our financial sources. Mm -hmm. We are in very close collaboration with local authorities mm -hmm. and governmental staff mm -hmm. and trying to set up or build up a new hospital over there. And, uh, and but it's only for first two years. After that, they are responsible to take over the hospital uh, and and we are leaving, uh, leaving the country. It's only the, uh, the the beginning process, yeah, yeah to yeah. give them an opportunity to give them a financial support to build mm -hmm. up because they don't have any financial sources to build up, uh, and it's mm. more construct or whatsoever, and so and this is our turn, yeah. So not coming from our perspective, mm -hmm. just we are Europe and we are the best and we are going to help you, nothing like yeah. that. So we are always invited, and mm -hmm. and it's and we get the special roles. And okay. or topic, and on the other hand, we uh, we coming for a for a short period, two three years max, and after that, all hospitals are taken over by local authorities, and we leave the country. But uh, our mm -hmm. main topic mm -hmm. is a war, uh, yeah. my the conflict. So so if the Ukraine, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, applied for a medical background, okay. we uh, we decided or not we as a staff, but our, our management decided to go to Ukraine. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's only during the war uh, period. After the war, the war is uh, always over. Some somewhere, mm -hmm. sometimes, of course. But uh, and after that, it's it's gonna be the second part and mm -hmm. uh, a new negotiation with local authorities yes. and trying to prepare trying to prepare a new contract and with the new uh, regulations I means say now we are doctors only for the war uh, war period which which is very basic which is very basic uh, medical mm -hmm. uh, background after that we are mm -hmm. after the war we will decide or we will be in negotiation mm -hmm. with local authorities and they will decide to build a new hospital up and mm -hmm. we will it's going to be the second second part and after the second part we usually leave and the local people are taking taking care of our hospitals for the rest of their uh, lives also okay. uh, thanks whatsoever philip thanks for lots of information i think that i have for you the last question and we speak about culture, about uh, role in families. So um, I have a question for you. How serious is the issue of sexual violence mm. in countries, what you choose, if you can speak about it? And how are people with disabilities at risk of family, with people with disabilities in risk in of situation, uh, daily life? All right. Yeah, if you say something. Um, yeah. So I would like to talk about Iraq because, uh, well, it's uh, I can demonstrate a yeah. little bit um, uh, this part of the world. Well, uh, well, 
um, it's um, it's very difficult because mm. uh, uh, ladies and uh, female mm. uh, are usually are usually under the under the um, males, and they have to they have to they have to do what what males wants mm. wants to do anyway. So they usually stay at home. They usually uh, needs to be under the under mm -hmm. the male, and male is uh, one hundred percent. So they don't mm -hmm. have any any word. Uh, they have to listen. They have to do what they want to do, and mm -hmm. and if uh, and if it's not if it's not like that, uh, males are usually very uh, brutal, and mm -hmm. uh, and we saw that uh, during the war in two thousand fourteen mm -hmm. and fifteen and sixteen. Which Islamic states came mm -hmm. over, and uh, and it goes for uh, decades, mm -hmm. yeah. And so it's um, it's we both can understand because it's mm -hmm. not usual in our country at any way. Uh, but uh, Iraq, it's a res just you have to understand mm -hmm. it's a Islamic state mostly. Sometimes they have Yazidi, mm -hmm. they have Christian as well, mm -hmm. but it's a minority. So the majority is a Islamic, mm -hmm. it's a very uh, um, deep Islamic religion. And, and just male means male, and men mean men. Mm -hmm. And so, and they can do whatever they want to do. And mm -hmm. the violent, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, it's it's huge, mm -hmm. yeah. And mm -hmm. so and 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 if we and if we tr if we want to open this uh, this topic, mm -hmm. uh, they are usually they are usually completely out. No, no, we we don't want to talk about that because it's not mm -hmm. your it's not your uh, turn, and uh, you are not uh, our nationality. Please uh, don't ask us such such question. But if you talk to ladies and try to make a video with them because we mm. we work there for for three years with the SED and uh, and we uh, we made mm. a lot of a lot of interviews with them and mm. uh, ladies open mm. after the after the month and so uh, and uh, my colleagues uh, mm. from. Uh, from different countries, I mean doctors, mm -hmm. uh, usually answer or reply. Oh, I never seen that before. I never heard that before. It's so mm -hmm. brutal, and so and they they really uh, passed through the horrible horrible period in their lives. And I I'm I'm talking about Yazidi you know, mm -hmm. girls. Yeah, yeah, I'm not talking about the partially about yeah. the Iraqi uh, girls, but about Yazidi and. And now it's getting better, uh, mm. but uh, but within or between 2040 and 2020, mm. let's say, uh, it's not for an interview because mm. it's uh, it's very uh, it's uh, so complicated to understand mm -hmm. uh, from my prescription. But uh, it's very difficult to understand even for my colleagues. So, so mm -hmm. if if someone is beaten, um, ladies, mm -hmm. every single day, it's not normal in in our eyes. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. in their eyes, uh, means uh, that uh, girls uh, really must understand that if they don't do uh, what the male wants, they usually mm -hmm. are beaten afterwards. So, so, and you are watching them and can't do anything because you mm -hmm. can say to them, hey, girl, mm -hmm. this is not uh, fine and this is yeah. really bad uh, what you are doing. Uh, but what can you do? Nothing, because you are there for a, for a short period. You are mm -hmm. not the Iraqi, you are not the um, Yazidi. And Yazidi uh, means, okay, it's a mi mm -hmm. minority, eh? but uh, even Iraqi people really hate them because they are not mm -hmm. Muslims. They were, they are completely different. They mm -hmm. live in different of, um, uh -huh. part of the Iraq. They are just they live as a community, mm -hmm. and that's why 
Islamic State wanted to kill them, all of them, because it's, uh, it's something like a devil. Yeah? So they really think that they are devil and they need to be uh, murdered. Yeah? And, uh, and mm. people are living close to them and, uh, and having the option or just thinking that uh, your neighbors are devils, yeah. So and so mm. on the other hand, you can't really understand what's going on over there, yeah. And so, and uh, and it's the it's the topic for for hours to talk about that, but it's not for just just a few minutes, yeah. Sure. But it's uh, yeah, and we usually talk about that later on when we come came back and trying to describe a little bit more about the minority and majority and trying to talk in the European level. But nobody understands what's going on. And mm -hmm. we can't do anything because it's their country, their nationality, mm -hmm. their lot. And you are only doctor who is just mm -hmm. coming for a short period. You, you can say, hey guys, it's, hey, well, don't do it. Mm -hmm. But it's nothing. But mm -hmm. it's Effect. That's a battle, okay. yeah, and mm. and it's not so. It's not so. It's not so um, good to talk about that mm. because it goes for uh, decades. Yeah, it's not n nothing new in their uh, in their uh, mm. life. It's mm. going for decades, and ladies are 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 just just the behavior towards mm. ladies are like that and if you compare it with afghanistan mm. it's much worse in afghanistan yes yeah? so so it mm. just the world is uh, uh, so cruel yeah so it's mm. so barbarous yeah and you have to understand what's going on yeah so mm. uh, and just the final sentence is just i'm really happy that i'm living here because we are european and having some structures but they don't have anything in this in this field so mm. So, and that's the that's the point mm. uh, from the doctor doctor mission, but uh, but mm. uh, long time long time experiences. Okay, Fred, I thank you for interview. I think that we discuss very difficult but important topic and situation in the world, not only in Czech Republic. And once more, thanks. You're and welcome. It's the thank last you. interview in this series, so thank, thank you, you and good thank day. you.